Okay, uh, good evening kiddos. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the law of cosines. Um, so basically, uh, we have two separate types of problems. We have one, two, three, four missing sides, five, six, seven, eight missing angles. So the basic law of cosines, I'm going to go up here, is that if you have a missing side, it's going to equal the square root of sum of the other two sides squared minus 2 times the other two sides times the cosine of the angle opposite. So the important thing here when we're talking about missing sides I'll do number three for good measure is that we make sure we match up the angle there and the side there. It doesn't matter whether it's A or A with this being B or C. We could also do this is B, this is B with this is A and C. It really doesn't matter. I think most common is for just people to pick A, so that's what we're going to go with today. So again, we know that the formula itself looks like this. So what we're going to do is we're just going to plug in what we got here. X is going to equal the square root. Of 15 squared plus 13 squared minus 2 times 15 times 13 times the cosine of 38. Now I'm looking at this here and I know that all three of these have to add up to 180 degrees, all three angles. So I'm going to guess that this right here is probably the smallest angle. So when I'm looking at my answer, this one's 15, this one's 13. They're opposite bigger angles. So my assumption is, and what I'm looking at, is X is probably going to be significantly less than 13, or at least less than 13. And why that's important is because if I sit there and have, you know, if I get an answer of 28, or even 14, or 13.2, um, I know that I did something wrong. So, I uh, grab my handy dandy calculator. And we're going to go 15 squared is 225. So we have x equals the square root of 225 plus 169 minus, and here we're simply going to go 2 times 15 times 13 cosine 38 if you have a phone um uh, i forgot i there's someone found a calculator that i know of and i just completely i think it starts with a d not that, that matters really a lot but anyway okay so we go two times 15 times 13 was the cosine of 38 and that gives us 307.3 now be careful here because this negative right here that's built into the equation so on some of these where we're given like this one right here that cosine of 122 is going to be a negative number so when we plug that in, we're actually going to have a positive here because it's going to be a negative of a negative. So if you've already done that, go back, take a look at it, make sure that when you put in um, that, that we're just adding all of those. So here we have x equals the square root of 86.7 which is 
9.3. Rounding to the nearest tenth. And so again, if this is 9.3, that kind of tracks with what we thought um, it was going to be as being the smallest of the three sides. So that's how you solve for a missing side. When you have this kind of side angle side setup, you can use the log cosines to solve for a missing side. We could then use either the log cosines or the log sines to solve for the missing angles. Um, and we're good to go. So when we're talking about missing angles, all we have to do is kind of rearrange the formula a little bit. And we have things like angle A equals the inverse cosine of A squared minus B squared minus C squared over negative 2BC. In class, I went over where that comes from. So if you have the notes, you should have that in them. So here, again, I think the most common thing is to mark that as A. But it really doesn't matter. As long as these two right here matched up, A and A, B and B, C and C, the rest of it is fairly irrelevant. So we know that X degrees, because that's what A is, equals the inverse cosine of 12 squared minus... 7 squared minus 10 squared all over negative 2 times 7 times 10. So again, we're just going to go ahead and plug that into our calculator. So we got 144 minus 49 minus 100 all over negative 140. That's going to give us negative 5 over negative 140. Now, at some point, you're going to get used to putting this into a calculator. Um, but So what I'll have you do is, on a calculator, this is what you do. You hit the negative button, 5. Divide by negative button 140, enter. And when you do, what's going to pop up on your screen is about 0 0.035714286. And what this is, is this is the cosine. Now remember that cosines and sines and tangents, each angle has one. So if we know what the angle is, we know what the sine, cosine, and tangent are. Likewise, if we know what the sine or cosine or tangent are, we know what the angle is. So what we're then going to hit is we're going to hit second cosine. And then what's going to happen is up on your screen, this is going to pop up. And that says, okay, now I know that you don't want the cosine. You're going to give me the cosine. And I'm going to tell you the angle. So then you're going to go ahead and you're going to hit second again. And you're going to hit the little negative sign, the same one you did right here. And up on your screen, it's going to pop this. And what that means is it's going to take this whole thing right here. It's going to pop it in right there. And then all you have to do, and this is the tough part, all you have to do is hit enter, and your calculator will tell you that if the cosine of the angle is 0 0.0357, whatever, the angle you're looking for is going to be 87.95, and then it gives a whole bunch of other stuff. Now, you're told to round to the nearest tenth, which is this one right here. Five rounds up, nine rounds to ten. So X is going to be 88.0 degrees. Now we leave that zero in there because that's where we round it up to. It says the nearest tenth, so we give it the tenth. Um, 
So just model the other three of each kind, like the one we just did, and you should be golden. If you have any questions, you can ask me in class. Come by at AOT. I'm always welcome. Happy to see you guys. Happy to help you out. Have a wonderful evening.